India the Ministry of Ayush Pride Chief Kriya Kanapura Ji Jankari Dibule Regional Ayurveda Research Center the Mapur Ministry of Ayush Pride State Ayush Department Logode Miligina Press Conference Rakishi. Junai Dibu Ji Delhi Debi Union Minister of State for Ayush Independent Charge Pratap Prao Jadav Pra Idu Apur Highlight Kriya Kushi Ki Ministry Praikta Review Meeting Lushi. Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Manchi Jan Aryogya Yochna Laga Andade Thagya Ayurvedic Packages Kange Mainstream Healthcare Logode Milai Dibule. Ita Thak 170 Packages Kan Finalize Kriya Shi Kushi. Ek Do Ek so din de ministry prior chief korea kan upor aji public kan ge junai dishe i be to laga press conference sabo um as you all know ayush it comprises of five systems of medicine and the different types of medicine that comes under the umbrella of ayush are the ayurveda yoga naturopathy yunani siddha and homeopathy okay so this comes under the umbrella of ayush in the ministry, we have a separate directorate. The policy support to Ayush was there right from the time of uh, when India got independence, that is 1947. And in 1995, they formed a separate directorate of Ayush under the health and family welfare. And after that, they saw that a lot of uh, developments are taking place. This is such a much needed... Which means you don't get it elsewhere, in other places. We are so blessed. Okay. Now, these are all having medicinal values which we can also take. And yes, some, some may be very rare species in the wild, but there are also a lot of plants with known nutritional herbs which we can grow in the kitchen garden. For any disease, we don't have to just run to a hospital or so. So many things you can take care of at home. So what we're doing is we are promoting this medicinal garden in a small scale in our center so that when the patient comes, we just teach them, you know, you can plant this in flower pots if you don't have space. And you know, it's more than they do come So um, it's almost like, uh, you know, going back to nature. Because now, with so much advancement in the treatment and this, the disease seems to be more complicated, isn't it? So uh, we always uh, focus on this. Could it be that we, we, will, we will get some answer with the nature? And that's how we are promoting all this. So I would really want the public to avail this facility in our center where our doctors are posted and uh, yes coming back to your question the awareness level is increasing why i how i can say this is we have a report called the monthly report which we get from all our health units so in the last four years or five years i would say you know uh, both covid we can say there's a steady growth in our uh, patient patient load and that is one indicator that People are availing our services. The geriatric program that uh, the Department of Ayush has undertaken. It was in the month of August that from 10th to uh, 17th August, one week, within a one week, one week time frame, we have tried to, the Department of Ayush has tried to cover uh, elderly, elderly patient, elderly, uh, elderly citizens, elderly citizens for the welfare. And so as a matter of fact, uh, the program was conducted in 12 districts, across 12 districts in Berlin and um, in 22 Ayush Health and Wellness Centers. So uh, the elderly citizens, they came to get the benefits of Ayush medicines, Ayush counselings and also get their blood tested, blood pressure, pulse, glucose as well as they are counseled and monitored and then given uh, steps on how they can continue and then how they can come and avail the service again. And during this time, uh, across the states of Nagaland, we were very grateful with the um, uh, local leaders, particularly chairman, uh, pastors, who have rendered their support and they, are, they um, they have highlighted that they were very happy with the um, steps that the government has taken thinking about the welfare of the elderly citizens. Whereas one thing also, we came up with a theme to live healthy and age healthy. So um, they are still looking forward that the government will support uh, the citizens and come up with more steps. And one thing is, uh, within the time frame that uh, across 12 districts in the states, 
डॉक्टर विलास गांगुडे रिसर्च ऑफिसर इंचार्ज ऑफ रिजनल आयुर्वेद रिसर्च सेंटर अंडर सी सी आर एस आई एम वी आर फंक्शनिंग एट दिमापुर सो टुडे द मीडिया ब्रीफिंग हेज बीन गैदर्ड टू जस्ट टू नोटिस दैट वॉट द मेजर अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष इन इट्स फर्स्ट हंड्रेड डेज हेज बीन अचीव्ड अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ श्री प्रतापराव जाधव दैट इज यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ आयुष एज वी नो आफ्टर टेकिंग द चार्ज under the visionary leadership of uh, prime minister sri narendra modi the ministry has made remarkable progress in promoting some of the traditional indian systems what madam have expressed that is uh, ayurveda homeopathy yunani siddha and yoga and naturopathy too and for strengthening the of ayush in the field of international cooperation also they have uh, achieved some of the strategies now this uh, also one uh, upcoming what they have corporated that ayurvedic packages has been uh, formed under the ayushman bharat that is a pradhan mantri jan Yo- yojana arogya yojana to incorporate ayurveda or ayush into the main strip of the health care now i will sort in brief the some of the key achievements what we have achieved in this 100 days first is the donor agreement with the world health organization that is who on july 31st 2024 at who headquarters in geneva it has been agreement has been signed by the minister of ayush and who the second is the mo with the vietnam on medicinal plants that is it is centered on cooperation in medicinal plants on august 1st 2025 this also agreement has been signed in the august in the presence of honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji and the vietnamese counterpart the third what the achieved that is a landmark of mo 